Good boy! There you go. You know, I've been working with Tilikum for about about 10 years now. I started working with him in about uh, 2006. He's an animal that I feel like I have a phenomenal relationship go. with. He's got great energy. Tilly came from Sealand of the Pacific. He definitely needed to put on some weight. His dorsal fin had that same curve to it. His, his tail flukes had that same curve to them. And his teeth, they looked a lot like they do today. They needed to be cared for. So we started caring for his teeth as soon as he would allow us to train that behavior. Good morning, handsome. As an animal that has had some ups and downs health-wise, that's something that's always in the back of our mind with him. We tend to gear our day towards doing the things that he really seems like he's interested in at any point in that. So based on his health and based on his demeanor during the day, there are certain things that might be super fun for him. So if he's ready to go out and do a show and get people wet, I'm excited to do that with him. If he's more excited to just hang out and get a back rub and play with one of his favorite toys, guess what we're going to be doing? We're going to be doing that as well. Thank you for letting the doc check you out, sir. We take blood from him at least once a week, sometimes twice a week to kind of monitor what kind of inflammation is going on. Blood nice gives job, us a really Joe. nice picture into his health status. He can give us any sort of sample that we'd want voluntarily, whether it's a blood sample, a fecal sample, whether it's holding out a petri dish and having him blow in that petri dish so we can see what's going on in his lungs. We're able to get all of those things diagnostically so that our veterinary staff can plan out a course of action to help treat those things. Some of the issues that we're continuing to deal with are his, his chronic teeth issues, but probably the one that is most concerning is that he does have what we believe to be is a respiratory condition that is extremely difficult to treat. The species that we found in Tilikum is a type of bacteria that is found in a variety of species, including wild cetaceans. And for that, he receives a number of medications on a daily basis. We use a variety of oral antibiotics and antifungals that the trainers painstakingly every day, several times a day, will uh, administer in the fish. If Tilikum would have shown up with this disease in the wild, there's no doubt in my mind he'd, he'd been gone a long time ago. He's getting older, and um, what I know is that every day that I'm here and every day that these amazing veterinarians are here, he will receive the best care. I wish I could say uh, I was tremendously optimistic about Tilikum in his future, um, but he has a, a disease which uh, is chronic and progressive and um, at some point might uh, cause his death. We have not found a cure for this disease at this point. Through the ups and downs of the life that we've been living with him, it's been our duty to make sure that we give him the utmost care we possibly can.